All right, welcome back to Just Car Guys, the show where me and my dad talk about the latest and greatest car news and car stories from the last week. Hey, as a reminder, haven't seen any of the content that Anthony's prepared for today, so looking forward to see what's in the news. There is a ton of stuff, especially around EVs with the CES you know, show in Vegas yeah, yeah, this yeah. week. There's been quite a lot of reveals. First up, here's the full reveal of the Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX concept. Oh, wow. Now, with a low power output of just 201 horsepower, Mercedes claims the vehicle can go more than 620 miles on a single charge. This concept is aimed at acting as a, quote, technology blueprint for series production, end quote, and may never see production, even though it has things like door handles and mirrors and stuff like that. As a gauge of size, the EQXX is just a little longer than the Mercedes A-Class sedan and is thinner than an average Mercedes. All of this is responsible for a claimed drag coefficient of just 0.17. Oh, wow. This means the Mercedes can travel just six miles on one kilowatt hour of energy, and the gas equivalent of this is 202 miles per gallon. The EQXX's driveline is claimed to be 95% efficient, meaning only 5% of the energy in its battery doesn't get to the road, compared to the average internal combustion engine, which is only 35% efficient because it loses in heat and friction and all yeah. that stuff. The 900 volt ba battery battery pack was developed jointly with AMG's high performance powertrains division responsible for the Mercedes F1 engines and the AMG Project 1. Mercedes claims the car only weighs 3,858 pounds with 1,091 of them being the battery. All power goes to the rear wheels with a single motor. The interior is also fantastic with an LED screen running across the entire dashboard, tons of luxurious materials and you know Mercedes gorgeous accent lighting that they do the interior also sees a very sustainable theme with vegan leather carpets mm -hmm. made from bamboo and trim from recycled plastics the first car to use a version of this long-range ev platform will be in production by 2024 with mercedes saying quote all the elements on this car will make it into some sort of series production wow end quote Thing's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's excellent. I can't believe the, you know, how much they were able to cut out the drag. And, oh yeah. And, and how efficient they were able to make it. Although, if you look, obviously, they have the low drag wheels, mm -hmm. right? I saw that. Did you see the tires? They're what like pizza them? cutters, man. They're yeah, super narrow. Oh sheesh! Yeah, yeah. I didn't even notice uh -huh. that. Yeah. What are, what's up with those wheels? That there's like that coil on there. That looks interesting. Yeah, I yeah, wonder if it's functional cool. or just like a design. Design, yeah. yeah. I wonder. Huh. Man, that this cool. thing's pretty crazy. Got all that like stuff they're claiming. Rear. Yeah. If all that stuff they're claiming is legit, that's 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 pretty incredible, really. I yeah, can't can't wait to see how it uh, materializes oh, on yeah, the day to, to, to day the production. production stuff. Next here, Tesla just hit a major milestone. In 2021, Tesla delivered almost a million EVs worldwide. Tesla successfully delivered 936,172 vehicles, meaning an increase of 87% over last year and yet another record for the company. Tesla doesn't disclose where these deliveries took place, but Europe and China are their strongest market sale, like sales wise. But the US is still where they make the most money. In the US, Tesla made Made more than six billion dollars in revenue with 3.1 billion in china and 4.2 billion in quote other regions that's pretty well that's, that's, that's impressive. impressive yeah especially in that type of growth in an environment that we've been in here recently oh, yeah, right with chip with the, shortage yep. and all that stuff yeah they're still selling that they're that's figuring out how to get them produced and yeah. get them shipped so wow awesome now for another thing with sales numbers for the first time since 1931 general motors has not had the highest sales numbers in the u.s gm has been the best selling automotive company since 1931 but has been dethroned by toyota after wow. 90 years wow. general motors announced total u.s sales of two two million two hundred eighteen thousand two hundred twenty eight units in 2021 but they got beat out by toyota with two million three hundred thirty two thousand two hundred sixty two 
It's a little over 100,000 units. Yeah. So, wow. Crazy. So Toyota was able to accomplish this for many reasons, one of which was uh, the supply chain issues. Toyota was able to keep their production running much smoother than companies like GM and Ford, which allowed them to obviously produce more vehicles and then sell more of them. Toyota said, quote, Toyota is grateful to our loyal customers for putting their safety and trust in Toyota and Lexus vehicles, end quote. Quote, being number one is never a focus or priority. The company's focus has always been and will continue to be on being the best brand in terms of safety and quality in the customer's mind, end mm. quote. A GM spokesperson said the company was focused on profitability and not volume, and that 2021 was still a strong sales year for them. And and that same GM spokesperson said, quote, I wouldn't rush out if I were Toyota and get a we're number one tattoo, end quote. <laughs> Okay. Pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. That's crazy. Yeah. I didn't even know GM was that big. Like they. Yeah. Number one since 1931. Yeah. That, that's. That's insane. That's incredible. Yeah. And and interesting too though, because I while I thought they were up there, but I didn't know Toyota would be on their heels. So oh yeah, not I I, like, pay I, that that much attention. But me neither. Yeah. Crazy. Wild. Now we have a new vehicle from Chrysler. So Chrysler has revealed the Chrysler Airflow concept. So the Chrysler Airflow is a crossover that claims up to 400 miles of range and level three autonomous driving capabilities. The Airflow has both front and rear motors, both making 201 horsepower, sending it to all wheels. And the interior sees several screens and the new software and connectivity systems called STLA Brain and STLA Cockpit, which allow for over the air updates and stuff like that. Chrysler plans to launch their first EV by 2025, which will likely be very closely related to this concept. And the lineup will be fully electric by 2028. Wow. Look at that interior. It's pretty nice. I'm not a fan of the screen. Yeah. <laughs> that at least that middle one, I feel like yep. if they just set it back, that would have been yeah, fine. They could have trimmed it up and, and just made that whole thing kind of like the Mercedes exactly. you showed earlier. Yeah. But you know, the outside styling, I'm, uh, you know, wasn't bad. bad. No, yeah. no, that, that looks like pretty I, good. I don't really have any problems with it. I don't, it's very interesting. You see the climate control kind of settings for the passenger all the way where the vent would be. Yeah, I was trying to find where the Their vents vent are. Yeah, Maybe it could be just the reflection do. that we can't quite see them. Or yeah. again, this is just a concept. Concept. So. Have it I like the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. Now this this is pretty crazy, and I I want them to do it. This could be awesome. Sony. <sighs> oh yeah is looking at making a vehicle. So at CES last year, Sony said they have no plans to sell their Vision S01 electric sedan concept and claimed it was only for testing autonomous driving technology. Well, they are not lying there. They have been testing it for the past year. And this year, Sony showed off the Sony Vision S02, which seats seven, has a dual motor setup providing all wheel drive and 536 horsepower. And the interior features just what you would expect, a giant screen across the entire dash and then more for the passengers. The driver can customize the car acceleration and deceleration sounds, and the rear screens can even play PlayStation games when you have an at-home <laughs> console. In the spring of this year, under the name Sony Mobility Inc., the company plans to start launching the Vision S02. Wow, okay. I can't believe it. You, you can fit seven people in that thing? Did you see that? Yeah. Not crazy. Wow. Yeah, that is. It's pretty wild. The interior is very, sp like, sparse. There's not a whole lot in oh, there. Oh, very yeah. minimalistic. But wild. like, I, I, I cannot wait to see what they do. And like, where do you buy this? Like, is there gonna be a Sony dealership? Do you go to Best Buy? Like, I, <laughs> like, where do you go? The Magnolia Center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The purchase of your new TV, get a car. Like, what? That's crazy. Or the opposite buy a car get a tv yeah exactly huh it's not that is nuts it's pretty wild I'm, I'm sure they're partnering with somebody they're not gonna have the facility to make a car right I mean, they might. all of the guts for sure right oh yeah they got like, the guts down because that's yeah. all they make is consumer yeah. electronics so wow. awesome yeah. i'm i'm really excited to see yeah, where that comes that's and like what they do with that what, what comes out of that so evs 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 i swear that's all today is well, Chevy has given us a ton of new EV news, introducing the 2024 Chevy Silverado EV. 
So the Silverado EV is capable of up to 400 miles of range, produces up to 664 horsepower and can tow up to 10,000 pounds. Available at the start, which is two trim levels, one is $39,900 for the base and fleet orientated uh, WT and $105,000 for the fully loaded RST that you see here. So these are kind of the bookends with Chevy promising many more trim levels to kind of fill the in-between. The Silverado is built on a narrow version of the GMC Hummer EV underpinnings, meaning yeah. independent front and rear suspension with two electric motors, not the Hummer's three. The Silverado also allows for charging at 800 volts and 350 kilowatts, meaning you can get 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. The WT has 510 horsepower and 615 pound-feet of torque, but the RST has a, quote, wide open watts mode abbreviated as wow okay unleashing all 664 horsepower and 780 pound feet of torque for a total zero to 60 of 4.5 Four seconds, half seconds. <laughs> and a giant heavy ev wow. pickup truck i kind of like that wide open watts that's kind of fun yeah yeah you can of course expect tons of storage with the 5.9 foot long bed in its normal configuration then 10 feet when dropping the mid gate and putting it in its bed extending setting yeah. then don't forget the front trunk which can hold three large suitcases the interior then sees many niceties with a massive center screen and digital gauge cluster gm super cruise technology and much more then both the WT and RST have four-wheel steering. The RST has air springs. The Silverado EV also has a Trail Boss off-road model coming. And above, th that's that's all that's all the details we have. Can you go back one? I want uh, to show that Trail Boss. With that, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. We can go back to the Trail Boss too. But I I find it interesting that, like from a styling standpoint, they really didn't drift too far away from the. Uh, um, the avalanche not at all it looks totally yeah. like an avalanche like it really a does new, newly designed avalanche the way the back is and all especially I, with that like kind of i wonder if down. it's got if it's got the avalanche like mid gate where the, the back wall comes out i don't even know if they still do that on what do you they, mean is that the 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 front wall of the bed in the original avalanche mm -hmm. anyways you could open it up into the oh, cat that's cool yeah i don't know if it has that but i know it has like their yeah fancy multi-gate thing where For it's the, like got a bunch tailgate. of configurations yeah, that, and yeah that makes sense and i'll look at the so this is like a, a heavy duty version this is can, the, the yeah. base uh like a uh, fleet version right but I, i'm just based on like the lug pattern yeah that is that's like your your you know the 3500 oh uh, yeah silverado exactly. right and like, like actually yeah so interesting stuff and things like that okay interiors yeah, that looks good it's refreshing you know that's the uh, rst clean. interior i yeah. wish it would be a little bit more for a hundred thousand dollars well that's but, true if that's the one that it is yeah this you, is the hundred thousand yeah it'd be nice to, to have, i don't know it's gotta have something on it like that is that cloth seats shots like massage it. seats yeah exactly I mean, for a hundred thousand they, they need to have some other features in there but know, that's what i was thinking um production for these cool. um doesn't start until the second quarter of 2023 so it's gonna be interesting once all these kind of start coming out at the same time it's gonna be interesting to see who wins that uh, yeah and and how deep the line is at the charge station oh my <laughs> yeah Tell we need some more it. chargers we <laughs> really do so Chevy also gave us some more news about the Equinox. Chevy shared the first images of the 2024 Chevrolet Equinox mm. EV crossover. Set to go on sale in 2023, the Equinox has a starting price of around $30,000 and will come in LT and RS trim levels. There are no words yet on any mechanical details besides it will obviously use one of GM's Ultium batteries. Um, both the RS and LT show a large display inside, but the RS features red upholstery and a carbon fiber look trim. The company also confirmed that a Blazer EV will be available in 2023. Hmm. You know, these yeah, crossovers, that styling is almost identical to the, the Chrysler we just looked at. It really, you, they're very if you similar. Back up to the silhouette. You know, yeah. it's got more of a car like front instead of a SUV. Because mm -hmm. well, here, you know, recently the, the crossovers have been more SUV like, you know? Yeah. But but this is much more car configured, right? And yeah, so the exactly. front end's like that. And then it's got kind and of the SUV rear end more. Yeah. Or almost like a, like a sport wagon kind yeah. of thing, you know? Interesting. But, huh. 
<laughs> the interior okay. looks decent. I like, I mean, th that screen I feel like is a little bit better as opposed to like, cause it's like still kind of carries off of the like gauge cluster and it's yeah. not just it's a, there. I, I don't mind the, from the driver's perspective, it seems a little haphazard at the passenger end, yeah. you know, like just kind of blunt You're stop, right. like they could have molded it in or something. Agreed. But, um, I, well, I mean, not bad. Yeah. Now this is kind of cool. Goodyear has been, Goodyear has given us some pretty crazy details on some new tires they've been developing. Goodyear unveiled a tire that is made from 70% sustainable materials, and they are testing an airless tire on small delivery robots. So in 2020, the company set a goal to create a tire completely made of sustainable materials by 2030. Carbon black, which reinforces the tire and lengthens, lengthens its life, is traditionally made from burning petroleum. Goodyear created the carbon blacks from methane, carbon dioxide, and plant-based oil, resulting in fewer carbon emissions during the production process. They then used surplus soybean oil from the food and animal feed industries to keep the rubber flexible in changing temperatures, and silica used to boost grip and lower fuel consumption was created by using rice husk ash a byproduct what? of rice processing often ending up in landfills then the tire cords are then created by recycling polyester found in plastic bottles that's awesome that's excellent yeah now my only question is though do you think if you do a burnout it smells like food <laughs> you got the soybean oil and the rice husk and stuff that's funny but isn't that's pretty cool it's great it's great for a number of reasons obviously you know hey it's, it's good for you know the the earth yeah exactly to, to to try and use some of the waste and make something out of it yes right of just having to but around. but on the flip side and and while it's a great pr move and all of that because mm. people feel warm and cozy about taking care of the earth um it's going to be you know a, a lot of times that stuff is is pretty cheap to get a hold of right mm -hmm. like from a raw material standpoint yeah. because otherwise it's just waste right? oh yeah so 100%. So Goodyear, if they can crack the code on making something that's quality, that's going to last mm -hmm. and, and that people will trust, like, you know, they, they could open up a whole other market for themselves oh, yeah. and, and uh, increase their profit margin for sure. Oh, by a ton, I bet. It's way cheaper. Certainly not in the beginning. Those. The development stage, obviously, is going to oh, be yeah. expensive. But, but, you know, moving forward, you know. 100%. Huh. Awesome. Now we have another huge piece of EV news introducing the BMW iX M60. So BMW let their M department get a hold of the EV SUV to create this crazy all wheel drive 5,769 pound beast. So a sport mode activated, you get 610 horsepower and launch control provides a peak of 811 pound feet of torque, which is awesome. It's, things weigh 6,000 pounds. You yeah, need it. Crazy. So, but keep in mind, so this weighs 6,000 pounds, but that horsepower and torque allows for a zero to 60 time of 3.6 seconds with a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Side of so those brake rotors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Things got to have some serious stopping power. So the i6 M60 comes with standard air suspension and a double wishbone setup up front, allowing for the ride height to be adjusted based on the speed and load of each wheel or a button in the center console. Mm -hmm. The interior then gets tons of standard features like BMW's speech and gesture control system, Bowers and Wilkins sound system, heated steering wheel and seats, and much, much more, of course. The BMW will travel 280 miles on a single charge and starts at $106,095. Wow. The interior looks pretty bland. Yeah, it's pretty, There's like pretty basic not a lot you can see which means a ton of stuff is buried in the infotainment system which is oh. not always that great right because yeah, exactly. when you're driving yeah, you should be driving sad. instead of mucking around with that but but i mean i will say my back looks pretty good it's not bad i don't know about the front i mean i don't like it yeah but i don't hate it as much as some of the other stuff yeah they've done. <laughs> it's very interesting that's for yeah, sure i don't mind the back it looks pretty good yeah the back's not bad at all huh so that's as, cool rig. Yeah, exactly. Six thing about six thousand pounds, zero to sixty in three point six seconds. That's crazy. That's yeah, moving. But like I said, you you need to stop that thing. You need some serious breaks. <laughs> 
So as an enthusiast, you may have heard of a cool website called Bring a Trailer. Well, the record for the most expensive sale on the website has been shattered, previously set by a 1961 Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Roadster in July of 2021, which sold for a wild $1.4 million. Oh, yeah. This red 2005 yep, Porsche that. Carrera GT sold for $1.4 million nine hundred two thousand dollars <laughs> the car features a 5.7 liter v10 and is an enthusiast car at its purest the specific example here has only 862 miles on it which is wild sad i know like i that it's drives a little me bit nuts. sad i mean i like get it need to drive them yeah they're uh, they're museum pieces right but Stupid. but that car was made to be on the road and be you know beat the hell out of them. Like, yeah. you, you're supposed to drive those things and so with that um with those miles that obviously brought that high price along with 122,000 page views 700 comments and 4,910 auction watchers which is a ton of traffic for yep. a trailer yeah that's awesome and it's incredible i think we talked about it before not in the you know on on this venue but just as a side note like Who's who's trolling around on bring a trailer that's got one point nine million right? dollars like to just dump on a out. car? <laughs> yeah, Wake I up, think I'll bid on this. Daily bring yeah. a trailer email, like ooh, I'll bid <laughs> that, on that, that one. That's promising. Yeah, like, that's I think crazy. I'll go for that that must you... feel pretty fun. That's, just that's like be able to do that. You're just yeah. hanging out, open your phone. Ooh, what a car! That. that thing is beautiful. <laughs> it's awesome. Talk about a timeless design, too. Really? Oh, it still you looks know? fantastic. Yeah. So with that, that is it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter at Anthony C-I-F-A-L. And with that, you have an excellent rest of your week. Thanks for uh, giving us some of your time. We'll catch you next time. Peace out.